we think of like you know sailing on board a ship in the 16th century. You know, like how did these you know how did these people eat? You know, what what did they eat? Um, obviously, it's going to be dried food. Will be you know, you know in terms of getting the moisture out. So different methods of drying drying food. Obviously, uh, air air drying like you know with the sun smoking it. You know, same 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 uh, practices how we would uh, procure food uh, today. Um, on board a ship, uh, actually they ate pretty well. Um, this one, I'll pass it around. You can look. It will be there's a a little bit of some fish uh, which you would have. Uh, on board the ship, and then does anyone know what this is? Any, any true sailors out there? Bread. Yeah, there's hardtack in here, all right. Um, so that's just like double baked bread, uh, or bread cooked over a slow, uh, you know, slow heat for a long amount of time to get all the moisture out. This hardtack pretty much can last forever. Um, and so, you know, uh, you have this, and then you have a variety of really nice beans. Um, so when I pass this around, you can, you can look at all the beans. Um, and things like that. This, what you're looking at, um, would be about 4,000 calories of food. Um, so, you know, 4,000 calories actually is a pretty, pretty decent amount of food. Uh, what sailors would do when they get their rations, the bosun mate, uh, or would it be a bosun mate, or who would be the rationer on board a ship, you know? The bosun mate. So the bosun mate would take care of uh, the food rations as well, um, as, you know, many different functions on board the ship. And uh, basically what would happen is you boil some water and kind of just throw all this stuff in there, you know, reintroduce, uh, you know, uh, moisture back into it. Uh, the hardtack would kind of get into a, like a soft soupy consistency, so it would be kind of like a, a big porridge kind of mix. But um, what some sailors would do, they would, uh, you know, friends would, you know, friendships would happen on board the ship or before the, you know, before you jump on board a ship. And you kind of would group together and pour it, put everything in a big pot that's been, you know, cooking. And you kind of, you know, eat, you eat this all day long. 